Hello students, welcome back to our channel Diksha Karnataka. So as of as you all know that KSET exam is on 18th and 19th April and the admit cards are also released. So in this video, I'll be discussing some very important instructions that you must follow before entering your exam. So in this video, I'll be telling you the exam schedule and timing. So on which date, which exams are there at what time. Then also I'll be telling you about the entry instructions. I'll be telling you like when you should enter exactly how much time before you should reach the exam center. Then I'll be also telling you what exactly things you should carry and what things you should not carry. So what are the things that are allowed to the exam center and then some OMR sheet guidelines are also there which I'll be discussing in uh, this video. Okay. So let us see here first. So first is your exam schedule. So we have these important dates. Please remember it. First exam is on 18th April 10.30 am to 11.50 am is your biology subject. Next 18th April 2.30 pm to 3.50 pm is your mathematics exam. Then the next day 19th April again morning half 10.30 am to 11.50 am is physics and 19th April 2.30 pm to 3.50 pm is chemistry exam. So whatever courses you have to opt it, please go accordingly. Just see the timings. Do not, uh, do not get any confusion here. So please check the timetable properly, prepare and then go for the exam. Okay, next we have here important instructions. First instruction very, very important is reaching the examination center before the scheduled time. So just, just check your center. If it is far away, just make proper arrangements so that you can reach the exam center on proper time and do avoid any type of confusion. So please check it, check the location and then reach the exam center minimum two hours before. Okay. Now coming to the second instructions, it is very important. You are not allowed to carry any modern electronic equipments, gadgets, pages, mobile phones, Bluetooth markers, white fluid, calculator, wireless sets, bits of paper, books, notes, nothing is allowed. Okay. So just check your pockets, everything. Do not carry any extra thing. You will be disqualified from the exam if you have found in this. So just check this and do not carry any extra thing. Next, we have very important thing along with the admission ticket that is along with your admit card, you have to take one valid ID proof. So the valid ID proof which can be accepted is your driving license, passport, Aadhaar card, PAN card, voter ID, second PUC or 12th standard admission ticket compulsory. Okay? So you have to carry your admit card along with this one of your valid identity card. Just check it. Whichever is appropriate, carry them. Okay. Now let us see the next important instruction that is you are not allowed to wear any type of wristwatch. So please remember not only electronic, even the analog watches are not allowed. Do not wear any wristwatches. For timings, you will be given bell. Okay, So there will be bells in the exam to give you all the information. So do not carry any type of wristwatches. Next we have, you have to, you can enter the exam center only with two things. That is your admission ticket and valid entry uh, identity card. So if you, you must have these two things without this, you will be not allowed in the exam center. So check it properly. Take the printout of the admit card before time. Take two printouts, keep it with yourself one and keep another with the exam hall. So please make all the arrangements before and then go for the exam. This is very, very important. You have to reach the exam center at least two hours before the first bell. Okay. So as I told you, first check the location, check the exam center, reach two hours before so that you do not have any confusion, any, uh, there should not be any problem. Please reach the center before, do not, uh, do not take it lightly. Okay. Please reach the center two hours before, at least two hours before. Next uh, is your, for, there will be two bells in this one. You will be having first bell where you have to, after this bell, you can take your seats and nobody will be allowed after the third bell. Okay, so that is very important. That is why please reach the exam center two hours before. Now next we have, you have to carry only blue or black ink ball point pens. Okay, so please take extra pens here. You can carry either blue or black uh, ink ball point pens. No other things will be allowed. So you can carry this pen, admit card and your identity card. Okay, no other things are allowed in the exam. Next we have, you can write, okay, now what is about this OMR sheet? So you have to, in the OMR sheet, you have to write your name, you have to write your CET number, okay, and then you have to shade it properly and you have to also take the version code of the question booklet. So these three things will be filled in the OMR sheet. So within one or two days, we'll be preparing uh, one videos where we'll be telling you exactly how to fill the OMR sheet. So this is what you have to do with the OMR sheet. And next we have that uh, okay, candidates will not be allowed to leave the examination center after the completion of the exam till the scheduled time. 
means you have to stay in the exam hall till the exam ends okay so you will not be allowed to leave in between so please take proper food before the exam use the washrooms do whatever what you take your water whatever you want so please reach it uh, and you will not be allowed to go outside in between and only after the exam is over you can come out so take proper precautions and do all the finish all the work before going the exam hall right so these were some important instructions that you must follow the pdf of the admit card will be given in the uh, description section you can check there read all the instructions and then even if you have any other doubts please comment down so we'll definitely address it in the next video if you have found this video helpful please like share and subscribe the channel Thank you.